Okay, today I'm going to be putting the almighty Twinkie in my vacuum chamber. And not just one, a lot of Twinkies. Okay, just in case you haven't seen anything in a vacuum chamber, so what's gonna happen here is the atmospheric pressure is going to be reduced in the vacuum chamber here by sucking all the air out of it. But there's still gonna be some air left in the Twinkies here. And I'm not sure how much air is in the filling. I don't even know what the filling is. But as we reduce the atmospheric pressure, the pressure inside of the Twinkies will make the Twinkies expand. And then I'm going to let air back in and as I let the air back in, it's gonna squish the Twinkies back down. Okay, Twinkies in the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. <laughs> the feeling's coming out of them. <laughs> there they go. We're almost at a full vacuum. <laughs> it's bursting out of them all. <laughs> <laughs> it makes them even look even more delicious. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna let the air pressure back in. So now we've sucked all the air out of the filling and out of the sponge cake, so we'll see if it squishes them back down. Okay, let's let the air back in. Go. So the filling got smaller, but I don't see the cakes getting smaller. Let's take a look what we got here. So the question on everyone's mind now is, does it still taste like a Twinkie? Yep. Hi, thanks for watching another episode. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button. And you can leave me some comments in the comments section with what you'd like to see get crushed in the hydraulic press or see me put in my vacuum chamber. And I'll see you next time.